This video will demonstrate measuring the upper extremity using the paper tape method. The video will cover three areas, basic measuring procedure, measuring requirements for style variations, and a few common options and features. Section one is the basic measuring procedure. Record each measurement on the BioConcepts upper extremity measurement chart. Refer to the measuring manual for an explanation of the shorthand notation system for measurements recorded in inches. Measurements in centimeters are welcome. Simply record in decimal notation. It is critical to know the measurements you need before you start measuring. Inadvertently measuring too far up the arm above the axilla is a common problem that results in sleeves that are too long. Here is an easy procedure to make sure you do start at the axilla. Have the patient hold the arm out a bit, then tuck a sheet of paper into the axilla. Wrap the paper around the arm and make a mark at the top of the paper on the lateral arm. Measure from the wrist end up, but don't go past this mark, or measure from the mark down. Have the patient hold the arm out just long enough to get the wrist strap around the wrist and secure it to the spine of the tape. Pull the straps around the arm and secure each one as you move up the arm, being very careful to adjust each tape to make sure it is perpendicular to the arm. Also, the spine of the tape must be aligned along the dorsal and lateral center line of the arm. Have the patient hold the arm out from the body just enough to allow you to wrap the straps around the arm and secure each one. And remember, never pull the tapes snugly. Measure the circumference of the arm at every one and a half inch interval from the wrist upward. Read the outside edge of the spine of the tape to determine circumference measurements. Measurements are displayed in inches on the left hand side of the tape and centimeters on the right. Indicate on the form which measurement you are using. In our example here, we are measuring the entire arm. If a full length sleeve is not needed, you can place the first strap where you want the sleeve to begin and the last tape where you want the sleeve to end. Be sure to circle wrist or axilla on the measurement chart so we will know which end of the arm is at the top. The last tape may not be exactly one and a half inches from the previous strap. Just pleat the paper tape spine and secure. Then measure the actual distance between the last two tapes. Mark the upper extremity chart with a carrot and write down the actual distance. If the sleeve is to go over the elbow, record the location of the elbow by marking an E on the measurement chart next to or between the circumferences closest to the elbow. Section two of the video covers measuring requirements for style variations. The purpose of a shoulder flap is to hold up a sleeve. It is not to provide therapeutic pressure to the torso. When measuring for a shoulder flap, the arm circumference is full length or shorter as needed, and capital A, the circumference around the shoulder at the axilla, capital B, the circumference of the torso at the axilla for both males and females, and capital C, the circumference of the neck are required. For a 10A, a regular male shoulder flap, the default feature is a zipper closure. For a 10A regular female shoulder flap, the default feature is a Velcro closure. For a 10B, a male shoulder flap strap, 10C, a female shoulder flap strap, and 10D, child shoulder flap strap, the default feature is an adjustable belt. Section three of the video covers a few common options and features. Here are a few of our most commonly ordered garment styles and features. Keep in mind, we have many, many more options and features of every style of garment. Consult the measuring manual for more information. This number one sleeve axilla to elbow with number 10B shoulder flap strap for an adult male has an adjustable strap around the torso and the foam piece protects the skin from the strap itself and helps keep the sleeve in place. This female shoulder flap with sleeve to axilla pressure garment is shown here with an optional anterior elbow insert to prevent the irritation that can occur with bunching of the fabric in the elbow crease. This sleeve to axilla has a female shoulder flap, an adjustable Velcro and expansion panel extending down the side of the shoulder flap. 
If these or any other options are desired, they must be specified on the measurement chart.